in an unusual event singapore bound flight with over 140 passengers on board met with an unexpected fate now we all have faced turbulence or or experienced turbulence when we are in the flight but yesterday in an unexpected event that turbulence turned deadly a person 73 year old lost his life due to due to heart attack which is what report suggests and several people were injured my very first question to you sir would be in a recent study by the university of reading suggested that high number of turbulence in the sky or maybe experienced by the passenger can be one of the reason because of the climate change do you agree with the study do you think that climate change is leading towards such severe turbulence yeah i fully agree with you in fact uh, uh, this should have been a proactive approach by icao and various countries who are operating uh, flights that with the global warming Uh, the uh, ambient temperature or the historic temperature of every place is increasing phenomenal you yeah. take any place in the world over last three decades the temperatures have gone you know almost 50% uh, higher than their the, the historic temperatures now what yeah. happens is when the land temperature itself is so high so automatically as you go higher up uh, up in the air even that that level also temperature is increasing drastically now that uh, phenomena should have been studied well in advance and uh, you know mitigation actions plan should be should have been done some technology should have been you know uh, developed to uh, forecast this kind of trends uh, can i take some uh, uh, few minutes to explain the whole scenario how yes, the how this thing happen sure so what happens is that uh, uh, as you go high normally uh, the wind becomes very thinner and generally as you go high temperature uh, reduces but with the global warming the temperature also is increasing now when the temperature increases as you see on the over the land you see a lot of storm come dust storm comes a lot of strong winds comes you know all these things yeah. same thing same phenomena happen, happen when you when, when you encounter the hot airs uh, or high temperature on the upper layers so mm. with this upper layers there are up, ups and down drafts starts happening or and because of that what happens is suddenly uh, a, one air parcel goes suddenly up and other parcel comes suddenly down now these uh, air parcels are so strong they can uh, carry the aircraft like in paper like you know normal paper and they can just fly the aircraft in uh, in few seconds to 2000 feet and in few seconds the aircraft will come down to 3000 feet so that kind of effect these turbulences have not so technically like, what happens yeah tell me yes continue sir sorry so normally what happens is aircraft fly at very high level because at that uh, height you get something called jet stream which is very strong winds horizontally flying which uh, adds a lot of speed to the aircraft which reduces uh, you know the flying time as well as the fuel consumption but now with this uh, climatal change even at that height uh, temperatures are very high and which is creating uh, turbulences with this phenomena used to exist earlier also ca calling cat clear air turbulences but now hmm. because of a uh, very high temperature usually this phenomena is occurring too often and too too high intensity and because of that uh, the reason of the, the areas where you have high mountains especially like you know uh, in the northern atlantic region yeah. uh, you have this phenomena very very uh, uh, you know dangerous because temperature generally in the areas are are low but right. as the temperature increases in the air this becomes uh, more severe it's a very important point there now a follow up question to it like climate change is becoming very real we are all facing the effect of it we are all uh, we are all there to face the brunt of climate change now a follow up question to it like now yesterday incident has caused an alarm or maybe it's concerning do you think that flights or airlines need to revise maybe their flight safety uh, protocols Yeah, I think there are two two, th two things uh, need to be done immediately. Uh, one is that uh, the pilot training so, uh, needs to have more focus, rather more more uh, refresher training should be done to the pilots to handle this kind of situation. Okay, a deep study has to be done about the phenomena when this thing happened. Then what kind of 
pre warnings normally in cat there is no pre warning but sometimes when you enter the storm area sometimes you get some kind of an indication that you know now you want to hit the turbulence area but in cat generally you don't get it but then uh, it is a danger which is which is unseen danger you can't see it uh, even the weather radar cannot uh, show you the uh, clear turbulence so there is a need to study that in in this kind of situation if you enter what kind of uh, trends or, or or what kind of danger can happen to the aircraft and how to handle those and how to uh, ensure that these these situations are handled peacefully without creating a panic among the uh, flight crew and also to the passengers point number 2 right. even there is also a need for uh, the briefing to the passenger the, you know when we take off uh, before take off air hostesses give a certain briefing for the safety so i think yeah these this kind of uh, uh, briefing should be given to the passenger also that in case aircraft enters into turbulent area what kind of posture they are supposed to take normally it is it is said that in case there is a turbulence area you should hide your head you know uh, bring, bringing head in the front and so keep your head safe because first thing which will hit the roof will be your head and if you have a head injury you are you are entering into you know a bigger problem so some kind of training should be given some kind of briefing should be given to the passengers as a flight pre flight briefing also last point is that uh, in in such situation what pilot uh, should give uh, the forewarning and uh, and during this situation what kind of uh, 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 warning the pilot and cabin crew should give especially yeah. what happens is you must have seen when you fly in the aircraft when the uh, aerostat is giving this kind of uh, briefing most passengers they don't don't pay attention this they, they, they feel that i have already flown this aircraft i have already flown so many 100 times 20 20 times it doesn't matter it is a normal thing no it is not normal because every aircraft has a has got a different design every aircraft has got a different you know uh, uh, what do you call structures uh, every aircraft has got different safety uh, equipments <coughs> excuse me so there is a need for uh, passengers to be made aware and to ensure that all the passengers uh, take this briefing seriously and this kind of uh, briefing should be added into the normal uh, pre flight briefings totally right sir actually i was going to ask you the same question my very much my very next question to you would be regarding me as a passenger uh, whenever there is a uh, call by the pilot or, or by the aerostat that we are into entering into turbulent area or say suddenly we enter into cat area where even pilot doesn't get any warning so mm. the the first the two things one, one one must do that as far as possible even if the uh, the uh, passenger safety belts uh, locking advisory has been removed still as far as possible all the passengers must wear safety belts they must keep it locked second thing in case there is a turbulent uh, turbulence happens suddenly the first thing should be they should bow down uh, uh, by, by 90 degree you know uh, bring your head and and the back uh, parallel to the ground to save to save body also so that in case there is something fall from the uh, cabin or if uh, your body lifts up you don't hit the roof of the aircraft and don't 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 endanger your head so these two actions uh, i would suggest the first first and foremost rest i think uh, i leave it to the uh, dgc icao and uh, flight safety department of the airline to you know develop some kind of right. guidelines and uh, advisory to the passengers right right sir thank you so much uh, for making it very clear that even as a passenger you have to take precautions to safeguard from yourself and rest is of course been seen as if dgca or the or the regulators will or the regulator will take appropriate action now that climate change and the cat situation which you explained us very well will actually prompt the dgca to to revise maybe the fl uh, flight protocols thank you so much for joining us on ndtv and letting our uh, viewers go yes sir continue sir. one more thing i want to add that uh, till now the uh, i think uh, ico and uh, the countries flying the aircraft they have not felt uh, very urgent need for any kind of technology which can predict or forecast about the uh, clear air turbulence uh, i i being a pilot for so many years uh, yeah. there have been no no uh, you know meteorologic briefing where any kind of turbulence uh, have been predicted because there is not such a technology available so i think uh, the urgency is that there should be some kind of uh, upper layer 
weather weather phenomena it 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 needs to be more extensive uh, briefing given to to the pilots and also there should be some kind of uh, equipment should be developed some kind of technology should be developed which can gives at least some notice to the pilot some indication to the pilot that we may be entering into uh, the area which has got a turbulent area severe turbulent area or clear air turbulent area till now the weather radar which is there it only gives you a warning about the uh, clouds it only gives you a uh, warning about the uh, cumulonimbus clouds or uh, or thunderstorms or, right. or 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 any kind of heavy rains and all that but there is no radar there is no weather radar which gives you any kind of indication about the clear air turbulence or air turbulences thank you so much for joining us on ndtv sir wish to speak to you very soon thank you thank you subhangi thanks a lot pleasure thank you, thank you so much pleasure sir